All right. We're back. Uh, had a had a pause at or had a save, so it might be on part two or whatever. We'll see what happens. All right. Where are we at? Uh, this is number seven. Number six. Frankie's top ten movies of the week. Now this movie has a, has a strong feeling with me. Has a good feeling with me because I went down to Astoria, Oregon, as many of you know. Went down to Astoria, Oregon back in May of this year. I got to see where the house was filmed, or see where the movie was filmed. Of course, I'm talking about the Goonies. You would see me sometimes wear the shirt. Uh, this is the Goonie movie, and uh, yeah, I mean it's it's uh, it's definitely. Uh, it's definitely a movie that's a classic. I mean, I, I'm not even going to tell you a description about it because if you haven't seen it, then shame on you. You must. The Goonies is a classic movie that it will be that many people will never forget. You know, just just a good adventure movie. It had that Indiana Jones feel to it, and it's just a, a great adventure movie. Why I wanted to go to Astoria, Oregon in the first place was because I've always I've always thought about Astoria, Oregon because it, it, it's such a nice little area. And when I got to go there, I mean, it was just, I mean, it's hard to believe it's been so long since I've been there uh, already, how many months have passed, but that trip will, will definitely live in my mind for, for the rest of my life, and, and if I could do it again, I definitely would. So, anyway, check out The Goonies, and that's number six right here. All right. Number five, we get down here. Number five, Igby Goes Down. Have you ever seen this movie before? It's from MGM uh, Pictures and United Artists. It's with uh, Kieran Culkin from the Cider House Rules and uh, Home Alone 1 2. He played Fuller. He was Macaulay, he's Macaulay Culkin's older or younger brother. And the weird thing about it is uh, he and I have something in common. We we're both born on September 30th, and, but he's just a year older than I am. Uh, he was born in 80, September 30th, 1982. I was born September 30th, 1983. So we're exactly to the point, one year apart, pretty much, which is weird. Anyway, so like I'm 25, so he's 26 now. Anyway, it's a very good movie with a great soundtrack, and I definitely recommend you know people check this out if you haven't seen it. Uh, this is the uh, well, this is the only version of that that's ever came out on TV. It's a, it's more like an independent picture. It's like uh, when he did Dangerous Lives of the Alton Boys, or of Alton Boys, one of the first movies that I saw of him being in, you know, back in 2002, that got me inspired. Then I heard this movie that he was in, and it's just, uh, it's just a good movie. So if you ever go on YouTube or whatever, check, uh, type in the uh, Igby Goes Down, uh, they got the trailer. They also have stuff from the soundtrack, so very good. So that's number five. We're getting down to wire here. Number four, Detroit Rock City. Movie about Kiss, and it's uh, another buddy movie of people that of uh, these kids that uh, guys that uh, want to go down to or win tickets off the radio station, win tickets to go see or no, they have tickets. They got these tickets, so they want to go see Kiss in, in Detroit, and it turns out that the tickets uh, get destroyed by uh, one of the one of the friends' mother, and so that starts their adventure. They have a chance to win tickets to the radio station contest, so they go all the way to Detroit, and that's pretty much where the adventure begins. It's a very good movie. With like I said, I have I had the soundtrack for this. I don't think I do anymore, but I, but you can easily find this on on YouTube and all that. Amazon.com. It's very good. It's the only well, as far as I know, the only version that came out on DVD thus far, and uh, it's a special edition, New Line Platinum Series edition of Detroit Rock City. All right, number three, Father's Day. A very good movie with Robin Williams and Billy Crystal and has Paul McCartney doing the soundtrack for the movie. And uh, just uh, another, well, all-star cast movie. And once you get all these people who are involved in an all-star cast films, you know, you know it's going to be good no matter what. And uh, what they say is that it's an irresistible comic team. They apparently... Dependably zany. And uh, pretty much it's by Warner Brothers. It comes with the standard version, full screen version, and the widescreen version. And uh, 
I tell you what, watching this movie on the, on the big screen really gives it that full effect that I got that Logitech surround sound system, so that helps a lot too. So check out Father's Day. I'm, see, a lot of these movies, you know, a lot, see, people, people, uh, when they do give their DVD updates, they always, you know, tell a lot about the movie if they know about. See, I don't know about every movie that I have in my collection, I just know about certain ones. So if I'm giving off, like I, you know, not giving much of a good update, I apologize. But it's just, you know, these are randomly picked that I selected, whether I've seen them or I have not. Most of these I have, some of these I haven't. All right, number two, we're getting down to wire. This, I just watched. This I can tell you something about. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the cartoon series from uh, it's volume two of the second season. And uh, it's uh, just a compilation of all of uh, the Ninja Turtles uh, uh, adventures uh, battles with Shredder, and, or otherwise known as Oroko Saki. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a fun, I remember when uh, they used to release the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoons on VHS back in the day, and uh, watching like uh, the Case of the Killer Pizzas and Enter the Fly. Well, that's all on here, and it's uh, I got the volume one as well, and I know they released volume three and volume four and all that stuff. Also, they released the entire seasons of of the cartoons, but I just uh, luck fortunate enough to get the volume set. I kind of like the volume set a lot more, just because you know you get a variety of stuff. Although the seasons would be great, but sometimes, you know, a, ver a volume set kind of gives you kind of a, if that's all you can afford or if that's all you can get, you know, at the time, well then, there you go, you know, it works. So this is number two, I believe, let's see, we got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2. Alright, so this is Tina Minutes Journals, volume two of the original cartoon. That new cartoon that they came out with, you know, back in 2003, uh, that's horrible. I mean, it's, it's okay for today's generation, but if you're any type of Ninja Turtle fan, you go to the original series, just like the original movie. Not the one that just came out not too long ago on CGI, but the original movie, which I also have. And finally, for this week's, to end this week's top 10 movies of the week, Frankie's top 10 DVDs of the week, this is something I got for my birthday that I... Uh, finally get a chance to show. I've shown it to a few people that have done YouTube updates as well. This is the, the Police Academy, the complete collection. Now, I've watched all these once before. I'm up to number five right now. i got to watch part five, six, and seven. But these are great, funny, funny movies. Uh, everybody should watch this. You know, it doesn't just make fun of cops or whatever. It, it, it just, it kind of does, but it doesn't. The Police Academy franchise will always be successful no matter what. Even if they never make any more Police Academy movies. Uh, uh, the weird, weird connection I have with this, this series is that I ha had the chance for all of you uh, all you people who remember when I did interviews on, on the computer or at the radio station, I got a chance to do some interview, an interview with uh, Michael Winslow. And you're probably wondering, who the hell is Michael Winslow? Well, if you remember, he's a guy, uh, he's a black guy that did all the funny sound effects and noises for the police carry movies. So he and I got to have it sit down well, on the, over the phone and do it in an interview back in last year. And, uh, you know, that's something I'll never forget. So that's why I was happy to hold and finally get a chance to hold the police carry the complete collection. And that is number one in this week's edition of Frankie's Top 10 Movies of the Week. Like I said, uh, eventually it will get better. And maybe I'll maybe get a chance to move stuff to more to the couch, you know, and kind of, you know, relax more and, you know, show the movies. But anyway, that's what I have for this week. I hope you enjoy it, and please keep subscribing. Let's see, let's see if we can get, uh, let's see if we can get my subscriber base up to at least uh, 100 people uh, uh, from now until the next video that I post, which won't be for a while. So let's see how many subscribers we can get. Pass the word along. Like I said, I'm just start, you know, taking a break from doing around the town stuff. Although we're still working on some of the videos, and whatnot for it. But uh, anyway, we'll see you a little later, and rock on.